Hey folks, welcome in. Today we're looking at the Reigns of the Bronze Drake, which is available from the Culling of Stratholme Heroic Dungeon. Now, what you need to do is you do need to do this within a time limit. That is the only restriction on it. But the time limit is very simple, especially if you have a level 70 tune, max level at the moment, as of recording this video. So we enter the instance. I'm going to speed up this video throughout the play of it to 300%. You head up the staircase and you, the first thing you need to do is talk to Chromie. You want to take the speech bubbles as you can see here, proceed up the stairs. Now, the important part here is that you want to use a item in your bags to cleanse these boxes. This is the item. You use it. Now I decided I'm going to put that on my bar to make it easier to access for the rest of them. Then we speed it up. You complete the process for the other three. As you can see at the top of the screen, there is a five limit you need to do. You need to do this to proceed with the dungeon. It is a RP requirement. Now we cut back to the original one that I missed on the way there. And in the right hand side, you see that the crier shouts something. You'll get a whisper from Chromie. This is when you need to head towards the next part of the dungeon. So we are going to put it on fast forward again, just to get there a little bit quicker. Otherwise this video would take a long time. You speed through, head on through to Chromie and she's waiting for you. Now I don't see her initially, so I end up turning around and going, oh, there's Chromie. Click on her to start the next scene of roleplay. Now, you do get a DBM timer for the roleplay to play out. At this point, I, in the video recording, decided to wait it out until it was complete. I did speed up the little video a little bit to get this rolling. As you can see, the RP takes about three minutes real time. So I've sped that up about three times. You didn't need to hear the RP, but if you want to, you can listen to it when you're actually doing the dungeon. We're going to follow Arthas into the city once he has finished having his little chat. Off he runs, so you follow him. Because to engage the next part of the dungeon, you do need to talk to Arthas, as like so. And again, let's wait some more. We've got another 90 seconds of RP in real time. So I am going to cut that down fairly fast. I was having a look at what bosses there are, which way to go. But you've just got to sit here and wait until the RP is finished to get the next boss to spawn you do need to kill waves of elite enemies which don't appear until the Arthas roleplay is complete this does mean that you are limited to time spent in the dungeon to pro progress through it You will get an alert if you do have DBM installed where the ads, when the ads I should say, spawn. And if you look on your minimap, there is a little flag as well. This is also shown on the map so you know exactly where they spawn. They are in the same spots every time folks, so that is not a drama. You can just go to the same spot every time. I have done this a couple of times already just to make sure of that fact. Not that you need to for the course of this video. It is 100% drop. You just need to have to, a bit of patience, add a max level turn. Boss is fairly simple. Dies, loot. Wait some more for the next wave to spawn. Once 
once you get to the last wave, the second boss will spawn. Every five waves, this boss is spawn with a total of ten. As you can see up the top, boss is spawning. Now, the boss in this one seemed to spawn right on top of me, so I'm not sure if that's intentional or not. As a couple of different runs, he spawns in different places. The next stop is to go to Arthas. Make sure you do the talking to him to progress to the next stage of the dungeon. Do some more smacking. Some leftover ads that were coming up behind us. Kill some more ads. You gotta kill all of the ads on the way to the boss room. Get a little bit of a, a flank here. This is the boss room. After this wave of ads, the boss spawns. After the boss spawn, to open up the path, you do need to talk to Arthas. As soon as the boss dies, you can click Arthas and proceed. You don't have to wait as long as I did. As he'll open the bookcase to allow to access the next part of the dungeon, which is the important part. Next part, talk to Arthas. Again, a lot of talk to Arthas in this video. Now, next part is to go to the Infinite Corruptor. So you just follow the path. Keep following it. There's only one way to so far. There is a T in a section you get to. Which is right here. Head left. I just could kill a few of these off just to make it a bit easier for myself. And you head left again. And there's the Infinite Corruptor. The boss that drops the mount. Get a little achievement while you're at it. The Reigns of the Bronze Drake. There it is. Hope this video helped. Make sure to like, follow and subscribe for more. Bye.